How we doing everyone? And hello Johnny. Today, once again, I didn't exactly know what to talk about. Okay, that's not true. I had 11 ideas that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Why do I keep looking at my home button and not the camera lens? I'm looking at you. I had several ideas for video topics that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. However, I haven't exactly figured out a way to make any of those video topics less than 15 to 20 minutes long and cover the entire range of the topic that I want to discuss. So what I decided to do is just pick one of them at random and then just kind of shave off a whole ton of the stuff. I'll delve into this topic later on along with other topics during the year for change and just kind of give you guys a little overview of how I feel about it. Today's topic is going to be something that has haunted me for years. It's probably been one of my biggest struggles as a human being. I'm doing this video because I have to believe that there are other people out there who struggle this way and it's not just me and Johnny. To get extremely specific, I'm going to talk about someone named Joffrey. Jonathan, you already know exactly who I'm talking about. For those of you who may be a little bit in the dark, don't worry, clarification is coming. Within me, and within Jonathan, and within every one of you, there is a tiny little voice. And that voice has one job, only one. His or her sole purpose in existence inside of your mind is to constantly whisper to you, you can't do it. That's not good enough. Why even try? This is pointless. You should probably just give up. Me and Jonathan have decided to aptly name this little voice inside of each of our heads the inner critic. Every single one of us has an inner critic and every single one of our inner critics does exactly what it's supposed to do. It criticizes everything that you do. Now realistically, it's kind of healthy to have something like this in everybody. Because I'm sure that there are going to be things that people try to do that they really shouldn't try doing. Like if I ever decide that I wanted to build my own building, or climb Mount Everest naked, or if I think really hard about it, I could probably evolve wings and jump out of a plane and fly, I hope my inner critic speaks up. And on that level, it's not even really a critic, it's just common sense. Everybody, no matter what you do, no matter what your profession is, no matter what your passion is, everybody has something that drives them. And that's what the inner critic's job is. It's to drive you and to push you even harder, to make something better than what you could have done without it. When Leonardo da Vinci painted Madonna on the Rocks, I guarantee you the first time he painted it, his inner critic told him, that is not good enough. What are you doing? You're gonna submit that? What are you thinking? And that's fantastic because it drove him to create a masterpiece and several others. Then you have people like me. And I'm a little bit torn on this because on the one hand, I really hope that nobody else struggles with this problem and nobody else has to feel the way that I feel on a semi-regular basis. On the other hand, I would love to know that somebody else out there feels the way that me and my little brother do all the time. There are situations in which we can allow our inner critic too much power. I am one of those situations. And while I'm currently in a winning battle against my inner critic on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm taking back control and for the most part keeping him in his place, there was years and years and years and years and years of my life that every single thing that I did I hate it. And self-hatred, I know, is a problem that is not unique to me. I'd be selfish to think that. But just like somebody who is trying very desperately not to bite their fingernails, and just like somebody who's trying to break any other bad habit or addiction or anything else that's not good for them, it is a struggle. When you're not used to liking yourself, how do you train your brain into thinking that you should? All right, I just rewatched that raw footage, and I'm starting to think that this video is looking a little bit like a pity party which I do not want it to look like. And there goes my inner critic again. I don't want this video to be a pity party. I don't want it to be about me. I want it to be about you guys. I recently discovered that this problem is not unique to me and I want other people to know that it's not unique to them because I know what it's like to think that I'm the only one who feels this way. I'm going to touch back on this topic again in a lot more depth and in a lot more detail. But I do want you guys to know that regardless of how I feel about myself, I'm surrounded by people who think that I'm awesome. And whether I agree with them or not, trying to prove them right may seem difficult and challenging, but it's a far better alternative than just calling them liars. I have absolutely no idea if this video is going to have this desired effect. If not, you guys will see take two during the year for change. I'm gonna come up with a catchy sign off on my next video.